blessed is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Hey loves, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I am Shelby, the blogger behind Shelby.com. And every Thursday, I like to bring you new videos sharing my faith. And like any other Thursday, I am back with my morning coffee with Shelby series where I like to share my Bible study lessons, um, different things that I'm learning in the Bible, prayers, affirmations, although I have not done an affirmation in a long time. Um, <laughs> and today I'm actually going to be sharing 10 Bible verses on who God says you are. I think this video is like, oh, this is, a, I did this as a blog post a while back and today I wanted to share it as a video because I realized that some of you guys may have found me on YouTube, but you may not visit the blog. And I think it's so important to recognize who you are in God. This is something that I'm still learning over time. You know, learning more and more about just different Bible verses and things that it says about who we are as God's children. And I think it's so important to just know these things so that you can remind yourself, because that's what I <laughs> try to do when I'm struggling. Remind myself of who God says I am instead of what maybe my negative thoughts in my head may say I am. And so that's what today's video is all about giving you 10 Bible verses about who God says you are that hopefully will help you to combat some of those thoughts that say otherwise or maybe it might even be people that say otherwise um, as always you guys be sure to visit the link in the description box below I am going to try to add to this list so it can be more than 10 because there are so many beautiful Bible verses about who we are as God's people and so I want to make sure that provide you guys with a printable that you can download for yourself so you can have the reminder and see it when you need it <laughs> and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and hop into today's video Ephesians 1 3 says you are blessed blessed is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm in Christ hey. ain't that something <laughs> that's something that you, to remember oh I gotta make sure I write that down as one of my memory verses um, loved for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life by Sean 3.16 courageous now this one I have read a lot of times be strong and courageous do not fear or be in dread of them for it is the Lord your God who goes with you he will not leave you or forsake you Deuteronomy Deuteronomy <laughs> 31 6 and you guys know I'm reading from the ESV Bible as always so just in case you're wondering about the translation that I'm reading. <laughs> you are redeemed but they are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus Romans 3 24 Romans is such a beautiful book to read, especially if you are looking or in need of encouragement. You are free. We know that our old man was crucified with him so that the body of sin would no longer dominate us, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. Romans 6.6 6. You are beautiful, and I've talked about this verse before. It's Psalms 139, 13 to 14. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Victorious. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans 8, 37. Heirs. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if you are a son, then you are also an heir through God. And that's Galatians 4, 7. Chosen. For he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we may be holy and unblemished in his sight and love. Ephesians 1, 4. And the last one that I think is so important because I know that forgiveness is something we all struggle with. And a lot of times it's forgiveness of others, but more than none, more often than none, it's usually we're struggling to forgive ourselves for our past failures, sins, and, <clears throat> and just life happening to us at times. In him, we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace 
Ephesians 1 7 um, I hope that today's video helped you be sure to check over here there will be somewhere in the video a little card or annotation where um, you can click and see the morning coffee with Shelby series there is like 20 plus videos in there where I talk about my different Bible study lessons lessons and prayers so please do make sure to check that out especially if you are in need of some faith-based inspiration for your day or just to help you with getting started I also have a Bible study um, playlist that you can check out to get some help or tips or ideas on how to better study your Bible. I hope today's video helped you in some way. Um, if it did, be sure to hit the like button. And don't forget, you guys, please subscribe and share this because sharing is caring and you never know who needs encouragement. As always, you guys, be blessed and stay safe. Until next time, 